Hi everyone, my name is Professor Benjamin and I want to welcome you to Justice 131 Technology and Criminal Justice. This is a completely online course, um, so there are no Zoom lectures or required times to meet online. So you will be given specific amount of um, coursework over a week and you will submit that as per the due dates. If you're looking for a more, um, we call that an asynchronous course, the one that I just described. Um, if you're looking more for a synchronous course, unfortunately this semester we're not running this course in that synchronous fashion. But I will let you know that I've provided you with all of the tools that you need to succeed in this class. So there are a lot of video lectures that walk you through how to complete the assignment. So if you're not strong with tech, um, you will still feel comfortable in this class. The objective of this video is to kind of give you a walkthrough and an overview of the course um, so that you feel more comfortable when you start the course. The learning outcomes that we're going to cover are right here and you will actually see them ingrained throughout the course in the assignments that we, um, we submit as well as the technology essential skills. So you are meeting um, the technology requirement for the college by taking this class. So you're checking a box under the criminal justice program but you're also checking the technology essential skill by taking this class. Grading, um, so you will be given um, the way that this course is set up is that we have assignments, we have wrap-up assignments, we have a course project, a midterm, and a final. So that's how you'll be graded in this course, and I will get into that in just a little bit. There is no required text for this course, um, so all of the information that you need to succeed is given to you in this course modules. You will need a Google account, though, so um, I have videos and I have um, information about that right here, but you will definitely need a um, Google account for this class. So uh, if you already have one and you have a professional name uh, for your Google or your Gmail account, um, then that's fine. But if you do not have a Gmail account, you definitely need to set up a Gmail account um, for this class. And then I, of course, um, there's a couple other softwares that are required and I will give you those directions in the specific modules on how to download that software and then of course how to sign into the software. The syllabus is located right here and of course in any class it's absolutely essential that you read the syllabus. It is the contract that we have together um, on how I will be conducting this course throughout the semester. So make sure you uh, read the syllabus and um, it contains really, really um, detailed information about my expectations in terms of attendance, in terms of submittals, um, also in terms of if you do have a, um, a Center on Disability request, then I ask you to, to please get that to me as soon as possible. Um, the other thing is, is if your name is different than what is um, on file with the college and you would like to be addressed by a different name, just send me an email through Canvas right over here and uh, we'll be definitely happy to call you by whatever name that you have requested. So let's walk through the course a little bit. This is the home page and you will find this video here. Um, for the most part, we are going to actually use, the syllabus can also be found here, but we will probably use the course modules, which is here, and the announcements. Also, all of your grades will be, um, you will be able to find those under the grades tab. And for some reason, it's not showing right now, but the grades tab will show. Um, actually, oh, it's right here. So the grades tab will show, and you'll be able to see your grades throughout the semester. I really try my best to have everything graded within one week of submittal. So you definitely will understand and know where you stand in this class as we move forward. So I'm going to click here. Each week, oh. The announcements will, will pop up. There will be a little kind of megaphone that pops up when there's an announcement made. So um, usually the announcements I send out like every week, I'll send out an announcement, what we did last week, what we, what I'm looking forward to this week. Um, so make sure you're always checking for announcements. If you do not receive things like feedback or announcements into your email account, or you can even um, receive them via text, you can go right up here to your um, account settings and you can change um, your notifications uh, for how you want to receive information for this class. 
So let's go to the modules tab and here's the modules tab and you will see it's set up into these little kind of modules. So each module is what we will cover in one week. The first module here will talks about the course project and I will be sending out a lot more information about the course project as the deadlines come near. But as you can see, there's four parts to the course project and then the final submittal. And the overall objective of the course project is for us to use tools that we've learned throughout the semester to make a um, PowerPoint presentation that contains graphs and um, data analysis and maps to um, make recommendations to law enforcement agencies. And I give you a list of databases that you can use. Um, and right now that might sound really stressful and foreign to you, but as we move through the semester, you'll kind of understand more how we analyze databases in this class. So each week you'll see that this is how the module is set up. Um, I, I like to follow a pattern. So you'll see a pattern every week from me. And right here, you'll have a lecture. And usually right under the lecture, there's a description and what learning outcomes we're going to cover in that module. Below that, most of the time is a PowerPoint presentation or some sort of videos that will help you understand what we're covering that week um, in the class. And sometimes there's even embedded videos within it. Also, the PowerPoint sometimes contains screenshots that will walk you through how to complete an assignment. So the PowerPoints are really important. You're more than welcome to open the PowerPoint. Um, if you ever have trouble and something doesn't open right here in Canvas, you can click up here and it'll open it into a new portal. So this one's going to open this right into PowerPoint for me. Um, and you'll see here it's a PowerPoint presentation. You're more than welcome to um, print out this PowerPoint if you like um, kind of things in hand. If you don't like things in hand, you have reference to it right here. Um, this introduction will tell you what we cover in the class, and then uh, we dive deep into the Fourth Amendment and what issues that we'll talk about in this class relate to the Fourth Amendment. So that is um, PowerPoint, and so you, you want to open those up. If and remember, if nothing comes up here, you definitely want to click here and it'll take you to an outside portal to be able to see what you're looking for. So besides the lecture, you'll see under assignments, you'll have other things to do. And this is where we get into our assignments. And most week we either have one or two assignments. And assignments in this class are always due by Thursday, 1159. No excuses, it's due by Thursday, 1159. You need to make sure that you plan ahead for that. Each module is always open the Thursday before, so you have a full week to submit your work. Um, and I do that over a weekend because I know some people uh, may have other obligations during the week, but I do that. And throughout the semester, you are given your two lowest assignments are dropped. Um, and that accounts for if there is an emergency, a family emergency or anything like that, um, the assignments, your two lowest assignments are dropped. So most weeks we have two assignments like part one and part two. Um, and then at the end, we have a wrap up assignment. And this wrap up assignment is absolutely essential because it is what kind of it, it really sums up what we've learned that week. And wrap-up assignments are always due by Sunday, 11.59. Everything that you need in order to succeed on the assignments and the wrap-up assignments can be found within the module. So, for example, here's your first assignment, which is um, doing completing a docket search at the federal level. And you'll see here the instructions for how to do that are here. Um, they're right within the module. But if you look right below the assignment, I actually have a video walkthrough where I actually walk you through the steps of how to do a docket search so that you know what you're doing at the federal level. Um, I just want to quickly clarify that if you're trying to take this course on a cell phone, it's not going to work out for you. You definitely need um, a stationary computer or some sort of laptop to be able to take this. I use a Surface Pro, um, which is like a um, an iPad um, on kind of on adrenaline. So you definitely need um, some sort of of really, really um, strong computer to take this class. If you are using an iPad, I do. I have had students not succeed because of an iPad. Um, some students can, some students can't. So um, I really suggest that you try your best to have some sort of laptop or some sort of um, hard computer, you know, a, a regular computer on a desk computer um, in order to take this class. 
So again, you'll see underneath each one that there are walkthroughs. If there are no video walkthroughs, then most of the time the instructions or additional um, resources are underneath um, the actual PowerPoint presentation. So a lot of times, sometimes the videos are embedded within the PowerPoint presentation. So that's why the PowerPoint presentation is really important. Right here, you'll notice also that once in a while, I have these help discussion posts in there. Um, these are for students to ask questions. I mean, you have to be really detailed about your questions because you can't just say, I'm having trouble with the assignment because no one can really help you with that. You need to be super specific. And why I'm putting that here is maybe you have a question and someone else knows the answer to it. I'm going to monitor this once in a while. I'm going to try and let you guys do as much as you can on your own because that is really learning um, how to use tech skills is trying to on your own collaborate and work together and it's one of the learning outcomes for this course so i'm going to leave a lot of that um, up to you guys to to respond to each other in discussion posts once in a while i'll jump in there and take a look and um, answer questions um, because remember if you have the question then maybe someone else in the class also has the question Besides that, um, if you're having a lot of trouble, I have Zoom office hours and they're located on the syllabus, but my office hours are Monday from 11 to 1, Tuesdays from 9 to 10 a.m., and Thursdays from 10 to 12. So I'll be available during those times if you want to set up a Zoom meeting with me. I'm more than happy to do that um, and discuss any of the things any of the questions that you may have. Notice that I have them on Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays because that's before the due date for an assignment. Um, so make sure that if you have questions, you know, you get them to me before the due date. Um, I do not, as per the syllabus, you'll see, I do not answer emails after 7 p.m. And on the weekends, it may take me up to 48 hours to answer your email. And this is because I like to have a work-home life balance. Um, so I hope you respect that and understand. Um, but I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. A lot of students like, um, um, will email us right here through Canvas, and that's fine. That's a great tool. But I really want you to try and use the discussion boards to help you first before you, um, I should be the last resort to ask help for, um, from, okay, in terms of this class. Really use each other and work with each other. If it gets to the point where you really can, then definitely send me an email, and I'd be more than happy to answer your email. Um, so you'll see the same thing. Here's the next week. Um, we're using Smart Draw, and you'll see all of the assignments here um, with a lot of videos. So I give you tons of walkthrough videos of how to complete um, the parts of the assignments, and the same structure goes throughout the whole semester. Um, closer to the midterm and the final, I actually give a midterm review, and I'll give a video overview of the midterm, and the same thing with the final, so you'll feel comfortable as you um, move through that. But again, you can use, um, for this class, um, Excel or Google Sheets are wonderful tools. Um, and so any of the Googles, and that's why I ask you to create a Gmail account. So the school offers Office 365 package, but what we have found is there's a lot of times where there are limitations to Office 365. So if you don't have the Microsoft package on your home computer, um, the best thing to use as your Gmail account to do work using um, the Google um, additional tools. So Google Sheets, Google Docs, and Google um, Presentation, Google Slides. So you wanna make sure that you do that. So this video is just really to give you an overview of the course. So you'll have assignments due, which are worth 15% um, of your grade. You'll have wrap up assignments, which are worth 15% of your grade. And I told you, you'll get, you will have two of your lowest assignments dropped. You'll have one of your lowest um, wrap up assignments dropped. You'll have your midterm and your final exam. And then you'll have your course project. The course project is worth 30% of the grade. Um, and you'll actually see, um, under the assignments tab, you, you can actually see what each item is worth. Um, so assignments are worth 15%, wrap up assignment 15%. The midterm and final are worth 20%. Um, and again, remember, I'll give you reviews closer to the date and that course project is worth 30% of your grade. I am available most of the time. So if you do have questions or concerns about the course, make sure you reach out. And of course, in this class, sooner is better, better than later because it's a tech course. So there are some things that we will use. We'll use Excel. We'll use that Google Sheets. Um, and sometimes students get confused with functions and formulas in this class. And I want to make sure that everyone um, tries to succeed in this class. 
So I hope this video helped you with a little walkthrough and what my expectations are for the class. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And I look forward to starting this journey with you.